Okay, it's Wednesday. It's almost four o'clock and we are heading over to our rendezvous point to uh, head out to the Overland Expo Mountain West. It was the first time I'm going to one of these things and I've been trying to get to one for a while, but you know, between uh, COVID and my own personal agoraphobia, <laughs> I haven't made it yet, but we're going this time. All right, so I'm at Walmart. I just got gas. I'm waiting for everybody else to get here. So in the meantime, excuse me, I think I'm gonna go get the last thing that I'm missing from my list. The last thing I need is beer. So the guys are here and uh, we're getting ready to go. There's programming radios and we're gonna take off. After a short stop for food, we find ourselves chasing the sunset and trying to outrun the darkness as we make our way across North Texas on our way to Loveland, Colorado for Overland Expo Mountain West. So Friday morning comes along and the first two YouTube celebrities that I see are Andre and Nathan from TFL. Themselves. Um, for some of the vehicles in the US, we've got the wing kits available, um, and we're slowly developing the wing kits. So the drawers themselves are available in like a, just a square box format, and if you want to add on the wing kits, we, we slowly measuring them out. With this being my first Overland Expo, I was really excited for the opportunity to see firsthand some of the mods that I had been considering for my Jeep Gladiator. So this is the uh, trailer that we were looking at yesterday? The first day of the expo greeted us with cloudy skies and some light rain, but it wasn't enough to keep us from getting out and visiting some of the vendor booths before it got really bad. So while it was still manageable and not quite miserable yet, we stopped by Trail Trailer to learn about their utility trailers. These guys make a trailer that is rugged, customizable, and inexpensive to help you get all of your essential camp gear to your campsite. Great. Could you tell me about your trailer? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's a completely modular system. It's built yeah. from the ground up off of a Timberin independent axle suspension. Okay. Uh, oh. It's got, thir this one's got 33 inch tires, okay. uh, flat rain -o wheel, via big red tire. Uh, it's built on a flatbed chassis basically so this is the flatbed yeah um, all of them are the same flatbed uh, this one has a tall tower on it and as you can see we've got a mid tower as well and then this is a box so all this stuff bolts directly to the floor uh, which has a channel system as you can see here and yeah it's a new product so um, we're going to be offering different accessories uh, but basically it's a kit it out how you want. We start with the chassis, oh, no. think like a, a sprinter van that's just bare. That's what we're providing here. And how folks want to build them out, they can, they can kind of do that. This is one piece, like this isn't adjustable. That's correct? right, yeah, this is a solid piece of steel. So that's kind of the major benefit to this is this is just built. Uh, it's super reinforced. It's rated for uh, 600 pounds dynamic, 300 pounds static load. So okay. you can strap all sorts of stuff to it. We've got a big uh, 30 pound jack just vertically mounted on that front front one over there. I've got that jack. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool to great. see that mount. This mount is there. awesome. I love this mount. Yeah, they do a great job with it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Thanks for saying goodbye. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, so basically anything you want to mount to it, it's just bolt on, simple, simple construction, and uh, they're super stout we make a, a, a UTV version like a side-by-side -side version okay uh, and I, I flipped it with the mid tower on okay uh, taking a sand berm on a hill way too fast with the loose coupler and it just flipped right back over and it's still totally stout still no, no issues whatsoever so that was our stress test that, that's awesome yeah <laughs> I love it yeah they're sweet man. thanks yeah the one booth that I was really excited to go to was the Packout Campers booth. I must have walked past it like three or four times that day. Packout Campers does a truck bed style camper similar to the Go Fast Camper or the Super Pacific Camper with a wedge style tent on the top. Uh, the difference with between the Go Fast Camper and the Packout Camper 
is the extruded aluminum uh, frame that allows you the T-slots to add accessories or uh, add your bike stand and things like that. I was really excited to come talk to this guy because I, I was very impressed with his uh, with his camper from the YouTube video that I saw. Okay, so the hatch is awesome, right? So the difference with with having a hatch, first there's pros and cons with both, right? Yeah. So when you set up camp, you drop the tailgate, Yeah. you hop in, you unbuckle the latch, you put it up, you go down again, and that's the time you can put out your go away, and that's the only time you can go hop in. Right. Right? Right. And then, yes, it's good because you have wide open window. On this guy right here, when you have a hatch, you have to like duck in and go in. Now you have this all freestanding and you can go in right. clean. And then we added uh, a panel on both sides of the camper, which is. Again, we really tried to think in advance on how people would use their camper. Right. The goal for having this panel right here is you can use our table right for here, put it right here, right. put your diesel heater, cut a hole, run a duck. You have a diesel heater. Right. Next thing you know, you cut a hole again, water infill it. Okay. To fill your water inside. Cut a hole again, solar. You can plug in. Cut a hole again. You have a sure power. Right. If you were to mount your red arc panel here, do you guys have a solution to mount uh, a water container on this back wall here, or is it, do you can just do storage with it? So for for my setup and actually the way I like it is, I have my uh, my red arc right here for 200 amp. Right. And I I carry like 200 um, 200 uh, no 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 20 liter. A gallon on, on underneath the shower, so okay. you just plug it in there. So everything's removable. If I don't need it, but, you know, take it out. Pop it out. Yeah. Like, if you want to use it as a truck bed, you can definitely you do that. Use it as a truck bed. So you're not stuck. Yeah. If it's like mountain bike season, close the two hatch, carry two mountain bikes. If it's like paddleboard, close the hatch again, run a paddleboard. So there's so much things you can do into the camper. Like our camper cubby right there. Yeah. You can run one, you can run two, or you can run all four. Well, we don't often see the construction of course they're like high uh frame. Workspace. Oh get out. We have like nice view, front and side. We have chairs right here. Yeah. Oh, this is not the best one though. You, yeah, you could you could adjust. That's I need it. Slick, man. Turn it down right there. I'm sold. Winter? We have offer winter insulation. Okay. So that one also has an added accessories. Really? So you can buckle. You see the buckle system in the corner? You keep buckling it out. And then when this one's up, you have your workspace. Another workspace here. But all your bedding is ready right here whenever you're ready. So let's move this one a little. If you go over here. This is big. Yep. You don't need it. I'm Pull it this. up. I would absolutely do And then molly panel. So you can do half molly, full molly, red arc or shower or um, a cutout window. Yeah. But cutout window. Do you need it? It's nice to have it, but I just run like a, a camera on the back. Right. And replace my uh, my review mirror with a wolf pack. Okay. It's better view. It's night vision and thermal vision at night. That's pretty cool. So it's we tried to get like as minimal as we could here in the back. So five foot bed. Yeah. You no. Know? It it's this works perfectly. And then bad weather. You don't have trees. And you have your little yeah wooden shitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect for me. Yeah. Man, I'm Jay. Jags, bro. Nice to meet you, Jags. Nice to meet you, too, man. This is awesome. Overland Expo was an awesome experience. After losing Friday to the weather and catching up on much-needed sleep, I crammed as much stuff as I could into Saturday. I found my favorite YouTubers, I sat in on a couple of classes, and I tried to visit as many vendors as I could. And when it was all said and done, I would have to say that this trip was a success. I'd like to thank all of you for watching, especially those of you who have subscribed. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content, 
please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you'll be notified the next time a new video drops. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, so the expo is over. It was pretty cool, actually. I got to see a few people that I watch on YouTube. We got to meet a few people. Yesterday was kind of rough. It rained all day. And it was muddy all over the place, but it was cool. We still had an opportunity to go out and see some stuff before it got really, really bad. And now I'm just trying to put everything that I'm not gonna use away. So when morning comes, I can just pack up and be uh, pack up a little bit faster, get on the road a little bit faster so I can get home sooner. But the real reason I pulled out the GoPro is so I wanted to get a picture of the sky behind me because I thought it looked really good. And then I noticed with the max lens that I put on the GoPro, it looks even better. So it's pretty neat. Hopefully this comes out well, but yeah, that's what I've been up to this weekend. I was up at the Overland Expo Mountain West, and uh, yeah, it was a good time, so. All right, I'm gonna keep packing, maybe get ready to cook some stuff, eat a late dinner, watch the rest of the UFC fights, and we go to bed. So, cool. See y'all later.